Swartberg, black mountains in the background. Today is really cold, there's frost on every plant, leaf and stalk. And because of this the meerkats stay underground for longer than usual. And when they do come up, the, the first weather barometer he immediately sets about absorbing as much of the pale sunlight as possible. The belly is almost naked of hair and so it's always given pole position for warmth. Bits of frost still tipping each leaf. It's incredible to see the hairs on the body and how they spread that each hair almost pulls the warmth of the sun into this creature's body. His skin is also a dark grey colour which serves to maximise the opportunity for warmth, for holding warmth. And this is critical to their survival in an environment like this where ground temperatures plummet easily below zero in the middle of winter. Nose, little nose, questing, smelling, drawing information from the surrounding. Just the details of what lies and lives out there. It's still a gentle awakening, one by one. As they see fit, they come out, kind of ease into the group, ease into the day. Not too fussed about my presence. The black Kohan nearby the burrow was got something to say. You can see tiny little yellow and orange flowers beginning to bloom. First signs this this valley in, in a month or so is going to be absolutely beautiful, just a blaze of different succulent colour. Spider webs there in the front. Nature presents such a such an array of incredible detail. There's a Swartberg. For me it's an astonishing revelation just to see these strange little creatures standing in the way they do on the earth, just um, artmens, little earthmen, in wonderful obeisance to the sun, to life. Beautiful. <laughs>